What's up, Ghouls and Goblins? This is DMAX Productions, and today we're going to be looking at Global Trend Innovations Props at Spirit Halloween. Let's go. Okay, so I think the spirit halloween wiki for all this information because i wouldn't be able to make this video without them so global trend innovations or aroma halloween is an american distribution and wholesale company founded in 1991 and they distributed for spirit halloween since 1998 and they're the sister company of jemmy industries but what you might not know about global trend innovations and if you haven't even heard of them before is that because, well, I said that weird, is because that they are the dreaded Sunstar. Yes, Sunstar um, is Global Trend Innovations. They're the exact same company. And, well, they produced a lot of very good items for Spirit Halloween back in the early 2000s but not so much nowadays. They really don't even produce for Spirit anymore. And some of these props you guys may have never heard of or have thought were made by a different company like Taliex Artware or Pelican International. So the first few props we're gonna look at are from the American Gothic theme from Spirit Halloween in 2008. The props are the American Gothic Zombie Farmer and the Zombie Wife and the haunted scarecrow all right so this is the american gothic zombie farmer um a very detailed prop and um it's like so detailed it's crazy i would have thought that if i saw this for the first time i wouldn't think it was a spirit halloween animatronic i would think that it was like a distortions animatronic so the next one is the American Gothic Zombie Wife. And this one is just as cool. Um, they both kind of look like aliens, which is cool, but they're clearly zombies. Um, again, very detailed. And yeah, I wish that Sunstar would still make props like this to this day. Then the next one is the Haunted Scarecrow. This one, I don't really like as much as the other two. It's still very cool, but not as detailed and as real looking as the others. But still a very cool light and sound prop. Um, the other two didn't make noise or sound or light up at all, but this one did. So the next one is the Shrinker Witch, which was released in 2009 and part of the Wicked Woods display. Um, it's a latex head and hands prop, um, and yeah, um, very detailed like the last few. Um, it's just, it's kind of hard to talk about things that are, um, so old, but yes, it's very detailed, awesome looking, and it kind of goes with the next prop we're going to look at here. Next is the Hazel Witch from 2009 as well. Um, they kind of go together because they're both witches made by the same company, and I'm pretty sure they both have the exact same audio used. Their eyes light up, um, and they make sound. And, yeah, they're pretty cool, very detailed. This one is also latex in the head and hands. Now, this is the Standing Rotten Ghoul from 2008, and you might be thinking, that thing looks awful. What is that? Well, I really like this prop, actually. If I could find a decent one that actually looks really good and is pristine and isn't, like, the paint flaking off or anything, I would totally buy it. I think it looks awesome, but, um, yeah, it would light up and make, like, moaning and music sounds. So the next one is the Giant Rotten Fiend with Wings from 2008 as well. It has the same face sculpt as the um, Standing Rotten Ghoul. You can tell that they are very, very similar, but I think this one is a hanging prop. Um, I'm not sure if it lit up or not, but it's 
cool, but it's it's like kind of like it looks cheap. It's not as cool as the standing rotten ghoul. Hey, that rhymed. So the next one is the standing haunted tree man from 2008, I believe. It was an online only prop for Spirit Halloween, and you can tell why. It is a very strange looking prop, but pretty cool if you gotta ask me. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of this or seen it anywhere besides the Spirit Halloween wiki. And there's no picture of the box because uh, it just came in a plain cardboard box that was like slim and like it was like a thin box. So yeah. Alright, so that was my little look into Sunstar or Global Trend Innovations or Aroma Halloween. Uh, thank you for watching and tell me what you think of these props in the comments and if Sunstar should go back to making props like these. So yeah, goodbye ghouls and goblins, like, comment, and subscribe.